Um, so here's another thing that's really important, and please get this message if you get anything. Should we be getting organic food? Yes. yes. We're all kind of in agreement about that, right? Yeah. And basically, organic, it, it's not that complicated. Because we've gone so far away from uh, any kind of natural methods of living our lives, we've created this whole uproar about like, hey, it's got to be organic. It's like, well, duh, like it, it should have been organic all this time. But, so now we have to like go backwards in this rigmarole and now where there's like this whole movement like organic labeling, which is, you know, basically organic food is like baseline. And what does organic mean anyway? Anyways, it's it's, it's still so no pesticides, and it's right. the, again the, the earth and things are uh, they don't have any contaminants in the right. earth. Right, well, absolutely. And, and so it grows naturally. Absolutely. So it's like it's authentic. And it food. tastes better. It well, tastes, oh, absolutely. Oh like my it, God, yes. You grow a tomato <laughs> in your own garden. Oh. It's like whoa. <laughs> So you know those little square tomatoes they have to fit into the box? <laughs> like, does the that, does, like, you start to look, just use common sense and discernment when you go to the, the supermarket and just look at kind of the configuration of the produce aisle and just like sit there and just look around. I do this all the time. I, I just look and I'm like, whoa, that's interesting. It fits perfectly into that box. Huh. <laughs> oh. Did you hear that? Yeah. Do we want do we want seedless fruit? No. no. What what is fruit? What is a fruit? If you were to look at nature, what would the fruit be exactly? The ovary of the flower. It needs to be. Okay, so basically fruit would be probably like the sexual reproductive organs right. of nature, right? right? Okay. You take the seed out of that, what do you have? One that can't reproduce. You have food that cannot reproduce, and that is the deal. It had a hysterectomy. <laughs> it had a hysterectomy. At, right. Yeah, GMO. It's basically, to me, that that is defined, that's the definition, like that's a genetically modified food. Yeah. All these seedless grapes. I just blasted someone at the, far, the farmer's market earlier today. She's like, hey, you know, I heard, you know, the grapes are good. I was like, yeah, the grapes are one of the best foods in the world. Christopher Columbus put that in his top four favorite foods for longevity. Yeah. Black conquer grapes, one of the best foods in the world when it has seeds. When it doesn't have seeds, I don't know what that is. Seedless watermelon? Seedless bananas? Doctrine of signatures. The do we go back to the doctrine of signatures. Okay, so moving on. And I, you know, you guys get this. This is very like rudimentary. You guys get this. Basically, what I was going to say to you guys is that if if you can't, if people cannot, when I'm doing presentations, they pretty much, this is the, this is like the factor here. If I can't get through to somebody about like spending an extra 50 cents or an extra dollar to get organic, I can't do anything for you. It's impossible for me to convey my actual message. Because a lot of this stuff is just kind of like, it's just kind of entertainment. A lot of it's just like mental stimuli. A lot of it's just to like a broad view, but really my real message cannot get through. If we can't get to a place where we're taking responsibility for our health, right? Instead of health insurance, that's just, it's made up. Right. It doesn't make, it, it's made up. I actually worked in the hospital um, environment for three years in the emergency room in Oakland of all places in the Bay Area. I worked there for three years, and I'll tell you, like, I used to play Dungeons and Dragons when I was a kid on the computer, and, or Diablo, has anyone ever played that game? Okay, anyways. Um, I didn't know what a dungeon looked like until I worked there, and then I went raw, and I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. Like, I remember, like, I was on a cleanse or something, and I walk in the revolving door, right, because that's what it is, it's a revolving door, I walk in, and I'm looking around, and you got the, the seats. People are just, it's, it's, you guys have been to an emergency room, sure. right? It's insanity. You got one wall here. You got five seats here. You got 5150, 5150. They're all gaffering back to each other, causing mayhem. Then you got someone here, someone here. Then you got all the rooms. One person here, one person bunched up against each other. 
The doctor comes into the comes in to screen. Oh, Mrs. Jones, we got some bad news. There's a cancer growth in your breast. We're gonna have to take care of that. See you later. <laughs> Literally. So that's kind of influenced me a little bit and caused me to start studying like the really getting into like this whole diabetes thing, and especially like Gabriel Cousins, who is one of my one of my mentors, uh, Dr. Gabriel Cousins from the Tree of Life. He's probably the most successful um, doctor working with diabetic patients right now. He has probably the best reversal rate of diabetes. And he, does, he goes through all living food approach. And it's actually amazing what he, I mean like, there's, oh, there's, just, one, there's just one general consensus that says, oh yeah, diabetes, it's like, that one thing, it's like you can't cure it, it's a disease, it just, there isn't, doesn't exist. And then there's the other side of it, it's like off insulin, two, three weeks, off medication, and within a month, people are totally, they're reversing the whole hypoglycemic roller coaster that they're on, and they're getting, and they're reversing their whole condition, they're going out and living their lives. So we have both of these things existing at the same time. Has anyone read the Charles Dickens book, uh, The Tale of Two Cities? Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, what, what's the first line when you open that book? Oh. It was, uh, it, it was a year of the uh, It was the best of times and the worst of times. times. Right. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. The worst of times, right here. That that yeah. that program is totally available to all of us. <laughs> the best of times, times ever beyond imagination, where we have more abundance than the pharaohs and the the great um, avatars throughout history could ever even conceive of. We have it all available to us. Every single option, every single problem that's ever been created according to Napoleon Hill contains within it the seed of its solution, the solution to the problem. And the solution is always greater than the problem. That's over here. Yeah. Right? And we all have personal liberation to choose whichever we want. So I'm not up here to tell you, you gotta be raw, you gotta be vegetarian, you gotta be all organic, you gotta be this, that, or that, you gotta be fruitarian, I don't, I'm not here to say any of that, really. I'm here to say, hey, you guys have a choice, and guess what, it's, it's all available, right? So if we have a family member somewhere, somehow, that is in one of these situations right here that I just mentioned, we can start to, we can start to activate some level of genius within us to find the solution. That's been my experience, as I clear up the energetic, um, blockages that have weighed me down from nachos, cheese, Doritos, and burritos, and cream cheese, and bologna sandwiches, and whey protein, and Wonder Bread <laughs> as candy, right? Reese's Pieces, all of it. Captain Crunch. So as I cleared that away, I became much more energetically sensitive, and becoming more sensitive, I started to access different ideas solutions, right? Instead of being in the problem consciousness side of it, I started to flip on the best side ever of it, which is, you know, everything I'm talking about here, massive abundance, always, only all the time, right? Only every single day, it's available. I started to access more of that. And now that's actually become a daily reality for me. 